a pleasant welcome to all now we are going to study about file system implementation video lecture and e content created by rd sivakumar msc mphil mtech assistant professor of computer science and assistant professor and head department of mcom ca ayanadar janakiamal college sivagasi mobile 0994042243 email siva msc sit at gmail dot com website www.rdsivakumar.blackspot.in file system implementation overview file system store several important data structure on the disk a boot control block the boot block in unix or the partition boot sector in windows contains information about how to boot the system off of this disk the file control block it containing details about ownership size permissions dates etc a directory structure it containing file names and pointers to corresponding fcb a volume control block the master file table in unix are the super block in windows which contains information such as the partition table number of blocks on each file system and pointers to free blocks and free fcb blocks several key data structures stored in memory and in memory mount table an in memory directory cache of recently accessed directory information a system wide open file table containing a copy of the fcb for every currently open file in the system as well as some other related information a per process open file table containing a pointer to the system open file table as well as some other information file system components when a new file is created a new fcb is allocated and filled out with important information regarding the new file the appropriate directory is modified with the new file name and fcb information when a file is accessed during a program the open system call reads in the fcb information from disk and stores it in the system wide open file table in another process already has a file open when a new request comes in for the same file and it is shareable then a counter in the system y table is incremented and the pre process table is adjusted to point to the existing entry in the system y table when a file is closed the per process table entry is freed and the counter in the system y table is decremented partitions and mounting physical disk or commonly divided into smaller units called partitions partitions can either be used as raw devices the boot block is accessed as part of a raw partition by the boot program prior to any operating system being loaded the root partition contains the os kernel and at least the key portions of the os needed to complete the boot process continuing with the boot process additional file system get mounted adding their information into the appropriate mount table structure virtual file system virtual file system vfs provide a common interface to multiple different file system types in addition it provides for a unique identifier for file across the entire space including across all file system of different types virtual file system object types the i node object representing an individual file the file object representing an open file the super block object representing a file system a directory object representing the directory entry thank you